Good evening, YouTube. I'm back. It's Tuesday and it's top 10 time. Now, I have a different challenge for everybody. I want some lists off some people. What are we doing? I want you to grab the top 10 films that you own between A and C. Okay? Next week, we'll do D to F and G to I. You get how this is going to go. The top 10 films you'd grab if your house is on fire. Sounds weird, but the way I see it, if you're going to be in lockdown and like, say the government comes along and puts you in a metal tube, says you've got to stay here for six months, what 10 films would you grab? I've, I've picked the top 10 of my favourites from A to C. What would I take with me? Let's compare some lists, shall we? Firstly, important news, of course, is as of right now, Xavier is doing three for £30 on some 4K titles. And there's 41 in there. And there's some good ones. So get over there before that stops as well. So apparently they're doing quite well on their deliveries as well. So worth having a little sniffy. Go for it. Now what would be my first title? Of course it's going to be a bloody Disney. Aladdin. You can't go anywhere on this planet without a copy of Aladdin near you. It is that simple. It's a classic film. Brilliant animation. It looks amazing in high definition. And has Robin Williams. So you can't ask much more than that. That's my first pick. My second pick is Anchorman, the original Anchorman. Yes, I have it as a steelbook and I have it as normal. It, uh, Will Ferrell is just so bloody funny in this film. He's made himself a character which just absolutely knocks his socks off but funny. Highly recommend this. Wouldn't go anywhere without it. Totally awesome. Number three, Aquaman. Aquaman, and it's a 3D one. I've got to have it 3D or at least 4K. Um... But I only own it in 3D at the moment. So that's why I've picked it. This pisses on Justice League in every single way possible. Better visuals. The amazing chase scene across the roof is worth watching in itself. But Jason Momoa is one of the coolest dudes ever to live. Highly recommend this one if you haven't seen it yet. Number four is a recent one that was sent to me by Comets Ghost. I love you. Blind Fury. One of my favourite films from the 80s and 90s. I love this film. Oh, oh, I can't say enough good about it. It's classic, classic, classic. Rooker Howe has now passed away as well, so it means even more to me now. Brilliant film. Highly recommend it. Buy it if you can. It's definitely part of my top ten. Next, the last real classic that I think this guy's made that really, really has stood the test of time, Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey. It is so funny. And he really brings out the, you know, the, the emotion in the character. I love this film. Really well done. And Morgan Freeman's in it. Nothing is good unless Morgan Freeman's in it. Next, we go into Marvel now. Out of all of them, it's got to be Captain America Civil War. Of the three, the first two, the first one's classic. Second one's really cool. Most people would actually say Winter Soldier's probably their favourite. But for me, Civil War is definitely my favourite because it brings Spider-Man into the universe as well. And they're fighting each other. And it's really emotional to find out just how his parents died. But of course I've got it in 3D as well. you got to have it in 3D as well. So that would definitely be one of my Marvel recommendations. The other one, which may be slightly controversial to some people, is Captain Marvel. I love it. It's a brilliant film. People were dissing it. I love it. Awesome. Brilliant action. I can't wait to see the new Avengers films when they come out. It looks like they're steering her to be the mainstream leader in all of those, so it should be quite fun. Remember, she has signed off like a seven-film deal, so you've got to figure that in there somewhere. 3D looks amazing. Highly recommend. Now we go back to the old school. My next one is another C, Cliffhanger. I have a, a storied history with Cliffhanger. I got a time code of this over six months before it came out in the cinema over here. I run, I run off so many copies. Oh. But brilliant film. Amazing for its time. John Lithgow being an arsehole was different for the time as well, believe it or not. And visually, very well done. And this has the first plane-to-plane -plane transfer ever put on film. Yeah, want CGI back then. That guy did slide down a rope between two fucking planes. Holy shit. Brilliant film. Craig Fairbrass from EastEnders. He's in this as a bad guy as well. And he's your usual cardboard self. Brilliant. Next is an absolute uber classic, which is 
Close Encounters of the Third Kind. An awesome film, so awesome that I've got the special edition as well. This is a 30th anniversary edition, comes with a book and everything. It's in immaculate condition and I've got it normal as well. What can be said about this film? It is just class, class, class all the way. Who's to say it's not true? You know, do you know? I don't. And to round off my top 10, Commando. For the simple reason that one is Arnie in the best shape of his life. It's got some of the most corniest lines in it ever. Well, I mean ever. And he's had some corkers in his time. The scene where he comes out the raft and then gets all kitted up is one of the coolest things. Apart from Rocky training, that's the other coolest part ever put on celluloid. And it was before all these computer graphics wiped out the ropes that held up stuntmen and stuff like that. So you can see the, the jackhammer plates that throw people up and shit. It makes it look that tacky, but it's still a bloody awesome film. That would be the first 10 from A to C I would take with me onto a desert island, as it were, or, or under lockdown, which is more likely right now. Let me know your top 10. Better than that, post a video and let me know. Do a video of what your top 10 is from A to C. That's mine, and next week will be D through F. Because I had a good time thinking about this. Definitely worth doing. Now, I will get my N's and my O's done for my top, uh, my 2020 collection for tomorrow because the missus wants to watch a film tonight. And I'm not going to let her down. And then, of course, we will be here Friday, of course, for the giveaways as normal. I won't show you them again. You should know what they are by now. If not, go back to the last video because it's on there. Take care. Enjoy your rest of your evening. Be safe out there, guys. Our death toll doubled today. Like nearly 380-something were dead over in the last 24 hours. So... If, you, if you're in the same house, hug your loved ones right now. That's all I can say, mate. We'll, we'll get through this, but it's getting scary. Take care. Let me know your thoughts on my top 10. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or even put in the comments what your top 10 is. If you can't be asked to do your own video, let me know, because I'm always interested. Take care. Talk to you soon.